up YouTube? How you guys doing this morning? Check this out. From a very reputable source, CNN. Oh great, NASA says an asteroid is headed our way right before the election. Unbelievable. It says, well, 2020 keeps getting better all the time amid a scamdemic civil unrest and a divisive U.S. election year, we now have an asteroid zooming towards us <laughs> on the day before the presidential vote, no less. You guys, I talked about this a while back at the Revelation 12 sign where Satan's tail grabs a third of these stars and they fall to the earth. Guys, that's what, that's what these fallen stars are. are. They're fallen from heaven. They're actually stars. Check this out. Its diameter is 0 0.002 or about 6.5 feet according to NASA's data. It was the first identified at Palomar Observatory in California in 2018. NASA says there are three potential impacts, but based on 21 observations spanning 12,968 days, the agency has discerned the asteroid probably few won't have a deep impact, let alone bring Armageddon. Here we go. The chance of it hitting this is 0 0.41 data shows. So, could that be Revelation 4, 1, when John is caught up to the Spirit, where he says, come up hither? I don't know. Anyway, check out this propaganda right here. Probably show a commercial first, but see if it works. I think the misnomer about many of the women portfolio managers is that they may not have the performance, but in fact, it's not true. I, know, I am Tracy second. Castle Newman, and we are Morgan Stanley. Here we go. We get questions here all the time about comets, asteroids, and meteors, meteorites. What's the difference? Well, let's start in space and work our way all the way down to the surface. A comet is a snowball. It's a piece of ice. Now, the ice is mainly frozen gas, not water. Water's above. But there could be dust and rocks and things inside the comet. Halley's Comet. Now, NASA knows of about 3,600 other comets than that one out there. Closer in, in the asteroid belt, these are rocks, not gas. They could be metal as well, but they are hard surfaces. And sometimes... See right there where it says up top right-hand corner, artist rendering. All these are CGI. They're all drawings. They're computer generated. There's no actual pictures of any of this stuff. They come out of the asteroid belt, get closer to the surface of the Earth, or at least our atmosphere. It's all pictures. Or a piece of a smaller one called a meteoroid hits the surface of the atmosphere it turns into a meteor it gets bright because it hits our atmosphere and begins to burn up they want us to believe those are actual it asteroids all the way down to the surface it turns into a shooting star now if it does make its way all the way down to the surface of the earth and hits the ground and you can uh do you see that one back there that really big crater if that was done by an asteroid where's the asteroid you know, you always see these craters, but you never see the actual asteroids. Pick it up. That is a meteorite. See, how is that little rock right there going to make a crater? All that stuff is fake. It's total fake. Fakeness. But, yep, I just want to show you guys that there's an asteroid headed here right before the election day. Unbelievable. Let me pull up one verse real quick. Revelation 12. I don't know why it went to Revelation 1. Hold on. There we go. 
But yeah, I'm going to play this real quick. This is something that uh, they said happened back in 2017. But I'm not buying it because the red dragon and the angels weren't cast to this earth. But play a little bit of it. Revelation chapter 12. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun and a moon was under her feet and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she was with child, and cried travailing in birth, and was pained, ready to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, for behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads, and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and cast them to the earth. And the dragon... See, this is what I'm talking about right here, where his tail draws a third part of the stars. That's 33, one-third, 33. That's what these people are waiting for. They are waiting for the stars, you know, the princes, Satan, and all the rulers of this world to get cast down to this earth. That hasn't happened yet. And back in 2017, this, this some NASA website, Stellarium, was showing that it looked like it lined up and there was a bunch of people on YouTube saying that that was the Revelation 12 sign but you know they could have been showing us what's to come they probably were showing us that it was coming but it hasn't happened yet but verse 7 and there was a battle in heaven Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought in his angels but they prevailed not neither was their place found any more in heaven and that great dragon, that old serpent, called the devil and Satan, was cast out, which deceiveth all the world. He was even cast into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. It even says these stars, stars are angels, because it says a third of the stars are going to be cast to the earth. Right here, and it says and his angels were cast out with him, and they are cast to this earth. So that could be, I believe, that we go up, Revelation 4.1, we're caught up, and then Michael and the archangel in the battle, and Satan and his fallen angels get cast down. That's right where it talks about in the beast, the Antichrist comes on the scene. But, uh, yeah, let me see if I can find something why I got it pulled up. I think it's Second, second Thessalonians chapter 2. Okay, uh, this was Paul talking to the church. They thought they had been left behind. They thought that the day of Christ was already at hand, and he was assuring them that it hadn't happened yet. But let's see. Second uh, Thessalonians 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a departing first. A departure, that's the rapture. And that man of sin be disclosed, even the son of perdition. So right here, Paul says that the son of perdition is not going to be revealed until there come a departure first. So we have to go up, and then as soon as we come up, they come down, and the man of sin is disclosed, even the son of perdition. perdition which is an adversary and exalteth himself against all that is called God and that is worshipped so that he doeth sit in the God what did I say so that he doth sit as God in the temple of God showing himself that he is God so yep there's going to be you know the rapture first there shall come a departing first and that man of sin be disclosed but anyway, I know some of the other versions, like the King James, says there shall first come a fallen away. But Paul was talking to the church of Thessalonians, and he wasn't talking about the fallen away of faith. That was back in Timothy's writings and Paul's writings. If you go back to Timothy, it talks about that. But anyway, guys, get ready. It's coming.